Hi guys, this is Tony from Paracord Always. I have figured out how to do a double wide, double center strand back to back feather bar. <laughs> it's a bloody mouthful. Anyway, let's get on with the tutorial. Um, you're going to need for your main cordage for the blue, you're going to need 23 feet. Um, I've set my jig at 10 inches and I'm using big buckles. Uh, I can't remember the size of them, I'm sorry. And this will end up making eight and a half inches. Okay, so all I've done is fed it through, come down, then we'll come back up again. And you have to do it this way. It doesn't work doing two half strands. Okay, trying not to make this video too long guys, I'm sorry. Okay, and you need to feed it back down here. This is why you need a, a large buckle. Also, uh, for my Facebook friends and a couple of groups that I've signed up with, that I'm with, I uh, posted a half finished product and I only had two hours sleep. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, so I'm a bit tired. Now, I don't think I can get that through there at the top, but because it's these buckles, I go through that one there. Come on, focus. Thank you. That just makes it easier. But if you can squeeze it up the top, that's fine. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. All right. Now let's get started. Okay, so now you've got two strands on the outside. Okay, you've got two, four, six, and eight. Why aren't you focusing, you son of a gun? There you go. Two, four, six and eight. Okay. So we go under these two, over the top of the next two, under and over. It's a little tricky to see. So, under those two, over the top of those two, under those two, and over the top of that one. Bring the left over, over the top of that strand, then go underneath. Okay, now this is where it's the same every single time. You must pull that apart make a hole and go over the top of that okay and that's the part I was having trouble with now you then bring it behind and through and then through the loop okay and that is how you get started that's the same every single time and if I sound a bit delirious, again, I've had no sleep. <laughs> so now we want to get our second cord, pull that through the top. And 
and keep that there. We can tighten all that up. Make sure that pops behind there. It's a bit tricky to start with, but because it's extremely wide. Okay, now we just do the same with the green. Okay, we come in behind, so we go over the top of the blues. Go in behind, over the top, under, and over, pull it through, over, under, now we must go over the top of that piece there, okay. And that's it. Push it all up. I'm just rushing this a little bit, guys. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. That's why my pieces are short. But I did film the end of that one, so <laughs> I wasn't going to make another one. You just have to critique it a little bit. Your blue comes in from behind. Under. Over. Under. Over. Left goes over the top. Under. over the top of that centre, bring it down, go behind those two strands, and through that piece there. Okay, and that's it guys, but I'll do it one more time. You can always pause it. In all honesty, I probably should have started with the yellow first instead of the blue on that one, but it really doesn't matter. It's up to you, it's just personal preference. So now we come down with the yellow. You can tighten that up as much as you want, um, but I'm just trying to rush through this for you guys. Underneath, over, under, over. Again, that goes over the top. Then behind, and through, and then through the loop. Okay guys, and you just continue that all the way down. And... And so on, and you just the blue. <sighs> I've only had two hours sleep. <laughs> anyway, guys, continue that, and we'll get back to you soon. Okay. At this stage, I put a fit on. Makes it a little easier. Actually, makes it a lot easier. over the top.
it is a little bit awkward, but <clears throat> do the best you can. Now for the blue. Hold on a minute, I've got a swap fids over. I only have three. I really need to get a few more. Okay. So again, it's over the top. Days, what have I done there? I am an idiot. <laughs> See, nobody's perfect. <laughs> oh, shoes That side over. Pulls that side over. Okay. Well, I think we can get one more pass through there with the green. I would like to. Um, I don't think you need to watch me do that, do you? Well, might as well. Might as well. Behind. It's going to be a long video anyway. And yes, I talk to myself a lot, hello well. Okay, so now this comes over. This is where it gets a little awkward. Might need to take it off the jig for this. I must admit, guys, it's a bit hard to do it in front of the camera. <laughs> now get over the top. Underneath. 
these. Brilliant. And through. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> and we are done. We are finished. Now, when you're doing a a normal back to back, you would normally do Cobra stitch to finish it off, but honestly, I don't think that's going to work for here. So I'm just going to singe it. Those four spots, honestly, because it's two inches wide. So I'll singe that and get back to you, and uh, we'll be finished. Well, okay, guys, there it is. It's finished. Two inches wide. That's the back side. I've just uh, cut it and singed it. Oh, let's see if we can bend this thing. It's a bit of a beast. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see if it fits. Oh, perfect. And there you go. That is crazy. That's my... That's how wide it is. Well. Hope you enjoy it, guys. Looks pretty neat. This is Tony from Paracord Owlways. Please like and subscribe. And share if you like. Thank you.